Locating a healthy conure at your local shelter or breeder can be easy to find if you're looking for the common conure. Green cheek conures can be pretty easy to find and they are offered at a fair price. Sun conures, on the other hand, are a lot more difficult to find and they come with a higher price tag. These are prized birds due to their sweet personality and their stunning feather coloration. Welcome back to Poodles and Parrots. Sandra here, mommy to Lambo, Mango, and Mia. If you're a dog or parrot lover, you've come to the perfect place. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that cute little bell. Let's jump into the differences between sun conures and green cheek conures. Now we've had experience raising and living with a sun conure. And now we have experience raising and living with a green cheek conure. If you're thinking about getting a conure and you're debating between a sun and a green cheek, this video is for you. If you're trying to figure out which bird is going to be better, whether you live in a house or an apartment, this video is also for you. First, let's take a look at the size of a sun conure and a green cheek conure. So a sun conure measures about 12 inches or 30 centimeters in length, including their long, beautiful tails. And they weigh between 100 and 130 grams with an average weight of 110 or 111 grams. Whereas green cheek conures are smaller than sun conures. Their average weight is about 70 grams. And the general weight range of this species is between 60 and 80 grams. The average length, including its tail, is 10 to 11 inches or 25 to 27 centimeters. So green cheek conures are definitely smaller than a sun conure. Mia is much smaller and a lot lighter. The difference that I find between Mango and Mia is their independence. So Mango, and this could have something to do with his size, was a little bit more independent than Mia is and could spend a longer time alone, whereas Mia is much more demanding of time for socializing and affection. She calls out a lot more frequently for us to be with her, at least in the same room. And the biggest difference between sun conures and green cheek conures is volume. Yes, sun conures are much louder than green cheek conures, in their vocalization and their calls. And raising a sun conure and then raising a green cheek conure, I also noticed their baby sounds are different. Their day-to-day -day sounds are different and even their screams just sound different. A green cheek makes about half the decimals of sound and makes noise less frequently, not using their voice as a location call as much as a sun conure. Green cheeks are way more suited for apartment life because of the volume. But even if you live in a house, like we lived in a bungalow villa in Thailand with Mango, I am sure all of the neighbors knew that we had a sun conure. With both species though, early behavioral training can really help to keep them quieter and prevent screaming for attention. Hi, Mango. And I also encourage you to check out my video on how to train your conure to be quiet but reward your bird for being quiet. So whenever they're being quiet, give them attention, verbal praise, and even sneak in a little treat. If they're in their aviary or their cage, I like to just put in a little nut for Mia, and I would do the same for Mango to let them know that you're doing good, you get rewarded when you're quiet. Provide them also with plenty of toys and activities inside of their cage or aviary so that they learn to play quietly and happily alone at times. Learn to use a contact call to reassure your bird that you are within hearing, even though you are not in the same room. This can be any word or sound from the conure's name to here I am to a certain whistle. The next difference between sun and green cheek conures is genus. 
Sun conures belong to the Aratinga genus, and green tree conures are the genus Perura. Aratinga means little macaw in Latin. If you're looking for a macaw without the size and expense, this is bird to get. Sun conures, gende conures, and gold-caped conures are loud as well as very attractive when it comes to their colors. The family of the Perura conures are smaller, predominantly green, and soft voice compared to their larger conure cousins. The other big one is their color. Sun conures have these bright, beautiful, brilliant colors. They've got a lot of yellow and orange. They've got a bit of red and purple and like an indigo blue, and they're just gorgeous. They have all the colors of the rainbow. Now, green cheeks are gorgeous too, but they are predominantly green. Like Mia, she is a turquoise yellow-sided conure, so she has a lot of green with some blues and turquoise hues and a little bit of yellow and beige. So green cheeks are not as bright as sun conures, but they are beautiful in their own way. The first similarity between sun and green cheek conures is their personality. They both have very playful and fun, loving personalities. Both families of conures are inquisitive, clever, and intelligent. Both like snuggling into things and being affectionate. They'll snuggle in your hair or under your shirt. They'll hang out in your hand. Conures probably like being turned over on their backs and you may even find one of these conures sleeping that way when they're babies. Conures are also very interactive with each other, playing and wrestling together and with their people. Now, this is something that I noticed a lot with Mia. She is a lot more friskier and feistier. She loves to wrestle and roll around on her back and just be crazy. Green cheek conures do tend to be a lot calmer and quieter. Both sun and green cheek conures though will want and demand your attention. Neither a sun or green cheek is a good bird for a person who is gone much of the time or away at work for long days. They will play with toys and play on your body and love being out of their cage when you're home. And if they don't get this needed attention, they can develop screaming behaviors and other behavioral issues like plucking. So you should work with your bird early on to curb this behavior. They are both very trainable, they are both really intelligent and really smart, and they'll do anything for treat. Now this is a little bonus and it's just a little personal similarity I guess for us, and it's the relationship and friendship with Lambo. So Mango was really curious about Lambo when they first met, and they really grew to love each other and they became best friends. Mia also really took to Lambo and just really loves to cuddle up in his curls. They're not the same best friends that Lambo and Mango were, but they have a really big brother, little sister relationship and they get along really well too. So Conyers are very friendly. A little disclaimer alert, Lambo is really well trained and he's been trained to live with birds. We always make sure that all of their interactions are supervised. They are notorious for being nippy. Now the reason for them being nippy is sometimes it's a hormonal behavior and that happens during certain seasons like fall and spring, but it can also be when they like to rough play or sometimes when they want attention. This is a behavior that can be worked through just with training. Both sun and green cheek conures can take to one person, but they can also be really great family birds. Now, in order to prevent them from clinging or attaching to one person and making that person their person, then you just wanna make sure that you're sharing the responsibilities amongst everybody in the household and that your bird is well socialized, making sure that they're comfortable when other people come around and that everybody in the house takes turns doing the daily routine stuff with your bird. For example, my husband and I, we take turns making me a salad in the morning and giving it to her. We take turns training with her, putting her to bed, and just being a part of her schedule on a day-to-day -day basis so she's not too attached to one of us. Both Sun and Green Cheek Conyers are very active and playful, so 
they benefit from having a large cage, a large space, lots of out of the cage time, being engaged with different activities and foraging opportunities, having lots of toys to destroy because they are very active gymnasts. And the last similarity that I'm going to share with you today is that both Sun and Green Cheek Conyers have a poor talking ability. They're not known for their talking abilities. If you want a talker, I know African Grace are great at that, but they do really well at mimicking and there is the occasional Conyer that I hear about that say certain words or learn a few words. So that is totally possible but they are not the best at talking. If you have any other questions about the differences or similarities between Sun and Green Cheek Conyers, don't forget to leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that this video helps you decide on the Paro effect bird for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for a good vibe and wishing you a positively colossal day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a colossal day.